Hey there everyone, Hafez here and in this video we're gonna walk through with setting up our very first project on Flutter for Web. So I know everybody is excited for Flutter for Web and everybody wants to try it out and once you start to trying it out it's uh, another nightmare of how the steps actually work. They are not so much clear on their GitHub repository. To be honest, it's not. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process and it's a hell lot of a process. Some of these steps you definitely can step, skip here, but I don't recommend that. So let's get started and uh, create our very first project on the Flutter for Web. A word of caution, Flutter for Web is newly born at the time of this recording of this video. So there is a whole lot of errors and bugs that you're going to face while creating the project as well. Some of them I'll mention as well. So let's get started and look out for the very first project and you might want to take out a copy and a pen as well to note down all these steps because there are a lot of them. So first and foremost, what you need to do is you need to get dark SDK. Now some of the commands that we run for the web are actually dependent on the original Dart SDK. So you need to have that as well. Surely Flutter do comes with it, but eventually you're going to need that in a one or the other project. So it's better to have it right up at the very start. So go ahead and visit this get the Dart SDK and you can just visit this URL as well, dart.dev and you can just pause the video and write this URL. So again, the options are available for Windows, for Linux and Mac. For Windows, it's just click, click, agree, I agree, next, next, okay, there's the installer here, so just go for that. For Mac guys, again, we do have brew to save our life. We can just run this command, brew tap dart uh, lang, just copy paste this first command onto your terminal. Then after that, copy paste this second command on the terminal and just don't worry about these rest of the commands, you don't need that. Okay, so this is your step number one, install the dart, whether you are on Windows or Mac. Okay, now once you are done with that, what you need to do after that is you need to install Flutter as well. The Flutter installation is relatively simple. All you need to do is get this SDK, place it somewhere, maybe on your desktop or anywhere, and then we have to update our path. Now, updating the path is a little bit different for Windows and Mac. For the Windows guys, go into your environment variables and just update your path. Mac guys, just follow along with me. All you have to do is go to first type CD and hit enter so that we can be on to your root folder. The tilde sign is actually a symbol of it. Then we have to do, we are gonna use the classical old my favorite whim. And then we're gonna open up a file which is says dot bash underscore profile. Now, before you hit enter onto this one, please don't hit enter as of now, you need to go and look out where the Flutter is, okay? So my Flutter is actually on my desktop, so I'm gonna say Flutter, there we go, if I can find it. No, it's not here, it's on desktop. So I'm gonna go onto desktop and then Flutter, and then I do a ls. Notice there's a whole bunch of things in my Flutter. One of the directory is bin. So you should be able to see this bin. And whatever the path is right now, where you can see this bin, you need to actually copy that. So whatever that path is, you can find it out by PWD, which stands for present working directory. And my path is uh, slash user, slash studio, desktop, flutter, and then I'm gonna write slash bin. And what's inside the bin, we don't actually need to worry about that. So again, make sure you copy paste this path somewhere, uh, maybe on your uh, mind or maybe on a text pad, wherever you like to have it. Okay, now let's go back here. We're gonna open up this whim and we're gonna say dot bash underscore profile. So you might want to use tab here because whim actually creates a file if one doesn't exist. Make sure you have run the CD and hit enter. Once you hit enter, you're gonna see you want to paste this uh, thing here, uh, something like this. So I'm gonna press first I. Without pressing I, you are not able to go into insert mode and you will not be able to write anything. So here, the lines that you see, uh, these are the lines that you have to copy and paste. Okay, so let me tell you what exactly you have to write. First and foremost, write this export, then space, then capital path, equals, then you have to write dollar path, colon, and then the exact path for your computer, not mine, yours. Mine is actually slash user, studio, desktop, flutter, and then bin. Okay. So this is the first thing that you have to do. Don't worry, we're gonna come back here and I'm gonna walk you through for the second path as well. That is also important. So we're gonna come back onto this file again. Right now, you just have to write this first path so that our flutter path is set, okay? Now press escape, colon, WQ to write and quit, hit enter. Okay, so this is your flutter setting, your dart setting be both done. These are both prerequisite for this thing here. 
Now, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the Flutter web thing, actually. So this is the Flutter for web, and the GitHub is pretty simple, Flutter slash Flutter underscore web. Okay, so here, if you'll go up a little bit here at the bottom, you're gonna notice that here is the getting started guide for Flutter. So the first thing that you have to do in order to move in here is to get the Flutter dev packages. How to get that? All you need to do is just upgrade and make sure before you do upgrade, your Flutter path is actually set. And also just close the terminal and open it again one more time. Then we're gonna simply say Flutter and simply just say upgrade. There we go. You have to just run this one. It's gonna install the latest version of the Flutter, which is capable of running your web development for Flutter as well. Okay, it's not yet done, it's not yet done. Once you're done with this upgrade path, then just delete everything and again, go to CD dot, and again, I, I, I know I told you that, go ahead, grab a copy and pen, these are so many fab. Again, we are gonna open up Wim, and then we are gonna go for uh, bash underscore profile, make sure you write a dot first, and then bash. The dot here stands for the hidden files, okay? So dot bash profile, hit enter, Press I again to go into the insert mode and wherever you find a this empty space here, anything, uh, you just have to write again this path here and make sure you just type it just like that, simply like export, oops, if I can type it, uh, export and then simply path equals, so you have to write this entire line again and again, since you're watching a video, you can pause it anytime. So all you have to do this time, you have to write export path, dollar path colon and then entire path where your flutter is and then after that, instead of the bin, you have to write dot pub space pub dash cache slash bin. Pretty hard to say, but this is exactly what you have to write. Again, there is no space after the slash. We are directly start writing dot pub dash cache slash bin. So this is going to be responsible for running up your web things. Okay, I know, I know quite a lot of things that we have to do. Once you are done with that, press escape and insert is gone, press colon and WQ to write and quit. Okay, so this is a lot of a step to do just simple stuff, but again, it, has ne it needs to be done just once. Okay, once this is done, then we're gonna move up here. Then you have to say flutter packages pub global activate web dev. So this web dev command is gonna be useful for us uh, in order to run our flutter for web packages. So we're gonna just copy that and we're going to just paste this here. So just paste it on your terminal and hit enter. It's going to activate a web dev for you. Now, in, just don't run it yet. You just need to do it uh, at a very particular place. I'm gonna walk you through in that as well. Uh, just ignore the last step for a minute and we're gonna do that in a minute. Now, what we need to do is open up your VS code. Make sure your VS code is updated. Now again, a lot of uh, people might be saying in the blog, hey, activate your stage head and all these things. You don't need to do that. VS Code can actually do it for you. So what you have to do is open up your uh, VS Code. Make sure it's like in this position. No project is opened up. Now press the magical command of VS Code. Do you remember it? Command Shift P or Control Shift P. So Command Shift P and the palette actually opens up. Now all you have to do is type Flutter. Now in case your Flutter path is actually totally upgraded, remember the command, then you will be able to see a project known as new web project. Let me zoom that here. We can see new project, new web project. Okay, once you click on this new web project, then it's going to activate a stage head for you. At the bottom right corner, you're gonna see, hey, do, do should I activate a stage head for you? And there's no good reason to say no, always say yes to that. It's gonna just ask for one. And then it's gonna ask, say, uh, hey, what should be the name of my project? And we're gonna name this project as two underscore many underscore steps because literally it has too many steps for a beginner. And we're gonna hit enter. It's gonna ask, hey, where would you like to place it? And I'm gonna just place it uh, before I was doing that. So I'm gonna just create a new folder and I'm gonna say uh, zero to test. And I'm gonna just place it inside that. Select a folder and create a project in that. Okay. Now it's gonna just bring up a whole lot of things from the GitHub and is going to just place it. So let it done all the gettings and all these things which is trying to get it for you. So please let it do so. No need to hurry up in here. I can actually do a quick fast forward here so that it just do all the things quickly and we don't have to wait.
Okay, so finally it's done, uh, bringing up all the things. It might give you a message, Flutter web app project is ready, but it's not, it's not yet ready. Okay, so what you want to do is, let's just close this, and uh, this might look like this. So just press Control and tilde, which will open up your terminal at the bottom. Yours might not look like white and blue, but mine does. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look onto the steps that are mentioned here. So once these are done, you don't need to actually clone the repository or something, we are just making up, cooking up a very first fresh project. Now it's time to just copy this thing here, and this needs to be activated here. So we're gonna go up here, move on to our VS Code, paste this command and hit enter. Now for the very first time, it's gonna take a little bit of the time, but if you are doing it for like second time or third time, it's, it's gonna not take that much of the time. So, or probably it's gonna take too much of the long time every time. Come on, you can do it faster. Why do we have to like do fast forward all the time? No options, let's do fast forward. Okay, so it was done. Relatively decent time. Okay, let's move on to the next step. What is the next step? Now the next step is uh, saying, hey, you need to go inside the project and blah, blah, stuff. We are already into the project. Don't need to do that. Now the next thing is Flutter packages upgrade. So we need to upgrade all the packages. And if you're running up onto a regular terminal, this is gonna give you these kinds of error messages, kind of error messages on the red. But again, on the website also, they are mentioning that, hey, this is gonna show an exclamatory sign and all of that. So no need to worry. Just copy this command, which is flutter packages upgrade. Copy that. Go ahead, move on to here, hit enter. Now it's gonna upgrade all the packages in too many steps. I should have written two, but it's two. Anyways, uh, I guess we don't need to do fast forwarding and we can look out to the next step. Till the meantime, it just downloads all the packages. Okay, now once this is being done, the final step is to simply say web dev serve. But again, instead of saying web dev serve, if you go a little bit at the bottom, it says some other commands as well, which says, hey, if you want to get stateless hot reload in web dev, you might want to run the command instead of web dev serve, just add a couple of flags like dash dash auto restart and I love Hot Reload, <laughs> whether it's React Native, Flutter, I just love it. So we're gonna just run this using this command, so we're gonna copy that, and now we're gonna go again. Notice these uh, into exclamatory and orangish, these are not errors, they are just there and they don't do anything. We're gonna paste this here, web dev serve dash dash auto restart, the command that we copied. We're gonna hit enter, and now it's gonna connect on to the web. Where is my browser? And it's gonna mention also that, hey, we are just building up the entire project and all these things. I'm gonna show you a couple of interesting things on the, onto the web as well. Come on, you can do this. Or do, do I need to do fast forward again? Yeah, there we go. So it says the project is now running on localhost colon 8080, and it's just doing all fine stuff. So let's go ahead and move on to localhost 8080. So we're gonna go up here, and we're gonna say localhost, not 4040. That's from another project, 8080. And, come on, are you going to serve it? Yep, looks like it's gonna serve it, and there we go. So our classic Hello World project, Flutter demo project, which says debug and Hello World and all those magical stuff. Let's go ahead and try to take a look, couple of things here. Definitely not interested in index.html. Regular stuff, let's go into lib, main.dart. We have a whole lot of comments, which nobody's interested. So first and foremost, we always go up here and we just say, hey, you know what? I don't like this right banner, so we're gonna turn that to false, okay? And then after, thereafter, uh, definitely don't want to write hello world instead of write, we are gonna write something else. So just go ahead and write your name. That's the first mark you want to leave on this flutter. So we're gonna do that. If I can write my name, there we go. And uh, that looks good. Good for a moment, so I'm gonna save that. Okay, let's go onto the web and it auto reloads, I love that. And also, I don't like a couple of stuffs in here. The blue is, uh, I'm actually bored from the blue, I've seen too many blue projects, so I'm gonna go for orange. And uh, yeah, not looking so great, but uh, okay. So now we're gonna go a little bit at the bottom, although it's really hard to find anything at all in this comment section, probably the right place is here. So we're gonna simply say, not, not here, we're gonna go up here, 
Uh, yeah, that's the right place. So we're gonna say floating action button and you can notice one strange thing here that we will not get much of the suggestion. Probably the Dart plugin and the Flutter plugin in the VS Code is not yet ready to throw us uh, some of these suggestions. So we have to write it manually. And trust me, that's not fun at all. So we're gonna say floating action button. Then we go like that on pressed. We're gonna fake it by just saying this guys. And uh, let's just save it. See, there we go, a nice uh, little twiggly twiggly button. I hope you can see that. Uh, that's a full web page, so there we go. Now, one strange thing that you're gonna notice that icons are not yet recognized. So I'm gonna say child, I'm gonna say icon. It's not gonna suggest anything. Icons.add, and when you do so, uh, it gives you a square box, which is not good. And even on anything else like thumb underscore up, that's also an icon. It gives you the same square boxy stuff. So probably you don't want to use it right now, probably later. And then we can actually go for text, which is gonna be okay. So there we go. So okay, it does appear. So yeah, it's it's having some of the stuff. Now other thing that confused me a lot that hey, this is gonna be a website. So obviously, Google will be crawling my website. But when I right click and look on to this view page source, I see nothing in nothing in the body, absolutely zero, because it's just rendering my project, canvassing my project. So how are you gonna check out that whether things are going on, like where is my content, what is my content? How are you gonna analyze that? Probably Google has the answer for that. But again, it's a little bit awkward. You might also want to right click and inspect that to check out how things are going on. And uh, when you see that, it's like a lot of a divisions going on. Definitely interesting, definitely interesting. There is a go, Flutter demo home pre home page and stuff. So it's just rendering the stuff, but again, I don't know how they are doing it even. That's definitely fantastic. Would definitely love to read more about it. But there we go, in a 17 minutes video, 18 minutes video, I walk you through a whole lot of a process of creating a very first project on Flutter, both on Windows and Mac. And of course, some of the awesome stuff in that. So in case you have enjoyed it, you can hit that subscribe button and I'm gonna shortly catch you up in the next video.